Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have team of the season prices on this current market that are playing out exactly as expected, dropping a little bit lower in the past day or so. And that's making us ask the question, is now the time to get invested? But last week, we invested a little bit later. Do we need to get in earlier this week before everybody else does and the prices start rising as maybe as early as today? We'll talk about that in the video. And of course, everything that happened on the game yesterday with the upgrade packs finally being available and those cards and objectives aka Matoma and Paulinho really impacting the market on some areas we'll talk about that and what happens today on this game guaranteed EFL tots pack day that's going to be a guaranteed tots pack all of us want to do so if you're excited for the video today drop a thumbs up on it and of course subscribe if you are new let's talk about what happened yesterday on this game because there were a couple surprises yesterday now first of all what was not a surprise was the premium premier league upgrade pack for the xp 11 gold rare players uh, required and gold rares are already up to about a thousand coins a piece right now on this game they are expensive and if you bought and invested in these this is not the sell time in my opinion it's the selling at 1000 coins right now for these cards this is not the sell time but it is very very encouraging very nice from an investment perspective to see these cards going up as much as they already have now i would list these cards for like 1.3 to 1.5k because you're probably going to get lazy sales throughout the week now on the flip side i'm doing a lot of these packs i'm opening some of these packs we packed two team of the season yesterday you got harry kane and ramsdale uh actually harry kane was from an 81 plus double from the daily login sbc and then ramsdale was from a premier league upgrade pack but people are going to be doing these all week long we get a walkout right here i mean these packs are not that insane uh but you know you get a decent chance at a team this season and good fodder people are going to be hitting these upgrade packs all week long so those gold rares should continue to rise till about wednesday thursday time frame that's when you would start to look at selling if you invested in a bunch of those but it is so nice to have the upgrade packs out and available now one of the biggest things that was kind of happening with the game yesterday with those packs being available is the craft to glory uh, objective can now be completed you can do the prime bronze silver and now finally the premium premier league upgrades we can just, you can see i've done all those already and you can actually now get mitoma and paulina and these two cards being available really impacted a ton of prices on the market we'll talk about that a little bit later in the video but that is so nice to have that objective uh finally be able to be done now on this game and i just realized this as well we are only four days away from getting a tots player pack as the group reward here uh today is going to be day 19 in the daily login if you have not missed any days so even if you have this okay you know you'll be able to still get this if, as long as you've not missed more than like three or four days you'll be able to get this in the end but we're getting really close on this tots pack uh, at the end here for the daily login objective so that was the biggest piece of content yesterday with those upgrade packs and impacting the market a lot now also yesterday we had the 81 times 11 premier league upgrade pack very down voted sbc as you can see here it's fifty-seven thousand coins to do guys in my opinion this is a must do if you want a best shot at packing team of the season cards at a lower price still 57k is not that much if you have some rewards if you're doing these player picks or uh not these player picks but these upgrade packs you can very easily craft this sbc every single day from doing a couple of these packs um and i think that gives you a really good shot at team of the season cards now i didn't pack a tots from this but i know some people did some people packing multiple tots and we can do this every single day one time so that was a nice sbc to have yesterday and a bit of a surprise as well yesterday with the uefa marquee matchups sbc guys i believe this is the second time the entire year that we have had uefa marquee matchup second or third time i can't keep track but early on in the year we were expecting to have it every single week of uh champions league games or europa league games and they never dropped it but here we are dropping it again because we have some big champions league games on tap today we'll talk about live cards a little bit later as well and uh yeah i think there were some cards that went up some syria players maybe whether it was uh, Milan or Inter players going up a bit in value because of this, it gave out some good packs and it definitely helped some of the prices on the market drop that we are looking at potentially investing in today. And that's what I want to move into and focus on now. 
the investment that we talked in the beginning of this video, we talked earlier this weekend about Premier League TOTS prices going lower. Actually, we talked about it in last night's video. Premier League TOTS prices going lower yesterday on Monday, and they absolutely did. Now, uh, these prices went down because of multiple things, right? First of all, you had the upgrade packs out, which people are doing. They're selling some cards to go and do those upgrade packs. 81 times 11, of course taking some coins off of the market with those good SBCs. So people sell cards to go and do those SBCs. But then also at the same time, I think you just had so many people uh, that were not looking to invest in these cards. People maybe bought them in the morning from Saturday or sorry, from Sunday night into Monday morning. You saw some prices go up a good amount. But with all the crazy content and the upgrade packs that we had yesterday and the Matoma and the Paulina for objectives being available, a lot of people sold those cards yesterday specifically on the lower tier and their prices are down. And guys, I think we have to get in here pretty soon. We have to get in early because if you remember last week, some of those community team of season cards started rising a lot earlier um, and they kept going up later on into the week. And I think with this team being as cheap as it is and having as much hype as it is, I really feel like this is an absolutely incredible investment here on a lot of different levels. I'm not saying all these card prices are going to absolutely explode, but let's talk through it, right? Why would these cards go up in price? Well, first of all, we saw it happen last week, right? Alexis Sanchez, some of the mid to higher tier cards from the community tots rose nicely. Take a look at the daily graph. He was his lowest on Sunday and Monday from 1.27 to 1.28, rising all the way to the high 1.3 range on Wednesday to Thursday. Now, of course, afterwards, he's fallen off a lot. But think about guys like Rodrigo as well, who was 1.5 mil, rose up after the community guaranteed up to 1.7, right? That's going to be on like Wednesday, Thursday of this week. That's probably when you'll see these cards go up the most because after people do the guaranteed Premier League team of the season upgrade pack tomorrow on Wednesday, they will be looking to buy cards for their team that they didn't pack from that um, pack or maybe they didn't pack throughout the week of doing upgrades, 81 times 11s. That's when you'll see the market really start to rise. But I think, like we said in the beginning, we have to get in early on these guys because so many people are going to want these in their team. I mean, the entire market as a whole in the past couple of days has crashed because these prices are so cheap and everybody wants to use these brand new cards because of how cheap they are and how juiced they are. That's why I think there's a really big investment potential and I think we have to just get in here pretty soon on a lot of these cards. Now, which cards would you really want to invest in? Now, first of all, I'm not going to say that every single player from Prem Tots is going to go up in value. I don't think every single player here is going to go up a substantial amount. It's going to be few of them that have really big rises and then other ones are probably just going to have some solid rises and again like guys we saw already with like the alexis sanchez has already dropped off three four hundred thousand coins from where he was these card prices that are maybe going to go up it may not be for two or three weeks that you can put in your team and not you know forget about them uh but you know maybe it's something where you want to play weekendly this upcoming weekend with these cards or you're going to play games during the week with some of these cards or there's a player from your favorite team that you want to buy to put in your team i just think that's kind of the mindset of maybe we need to buy one of those cards here soon because these prices are probably going to go up now the cards that are going to go up the most in my opinion are the middle tier to the top tier guys like sun Saka, guys that are like 500k and above i think will do the best percentage point wise because those are the most rare cards and the cards that people are not packing the rest of this team bruno Guimaraes, harry kane uh, they're cheap, right? And I mean, yes, of course, there's still a lot of demand from them, but I don't think their prices are going to go up as much because they're more supplied. And a lot of people have also packed them on tradable or tradable and have them already in their club. Now, if you need more uh, convincing that these Premier League Tots cards will go up in price, take a look at last year what happened. We had the same Basically, the same exact thing happened. Last year, Hyunmin Sun's 95 was his lowest on Monday to Tuesday, right? Today's Tuesday. He was 725K. By the time we got to Friday, when Bundesliga Toss was, was released, he was up 100,000 coins at 800 and 30k let's look at another example from a middle tier to high tier card we'll go to salah that's another high tier card really quick to check this out he was 2.5 mil all the way up to 2.6 2.7 um i remember this Mane card rose like three four hundred thousand coins as well uh how about trent alexander arnold right he was a very he was kind of a low tier option see he didn't do as well he went from 145 up to 150 um in, into wednesday but then after that he kind of came back down and never really kept rising so that's why we look at the middle tier to the top tier for the best investment opportunity especially if it's a buy for your team 
these t these guys like Cancelo last year, 900k all the way to 1.07 mil to that next weekend. And then you can see after that, the prices do fall off. But whether you're looking at these investments here as a quick flip, like, hey, for me, I'm not necessarily buying any of these for my team, right? I picked up some cards tonight. My coin balance is down. You can tell I picked up some cards. I got a couple of Sokka's at like 600k flat. I think that's a really good price for him. Uh, but I picked up a couple of these because I know that I'm going to be doing a bunch of upgrade packs throughout this week. And if I have something that I know is going to be appreciating in value sitting on my transfer list, I can't say no to that, right? I can buy a couple of cards, let, uh, sit on them, watch their prices rise throughout the week, and then sell them later on for some profits before we head into Bundesliga team this season. That's where I'm looking at for this investment. But if it's something that you want for your team, I do believe this is a really good time to get in on some of these guys. Still be careful with guys like Ruben Diaz and Saliba with the center back Laporte flashback still leaked to come whenever that does happen. And of course, you know, I'm not looking at guys like Harry Kane and Bruno Guimaraes to go up like 50, 60, 70,000 coins. Could I see Bruno Guimaraes going from 200K back to like, I don't know, 230? Absolutely. I really could. And I think you're going to start to see those rises today, right? Because people are going to figure out, like we're talking about, that these prices are a bit cheap and their prices are going to start to rise. So whatever your situation is, whatever you're looking at, a card for the team, a card for an investment, I just think that some of these prices are pretty good. And if you're specifically looking for an investment, if you've got more coins, look at the higher tier because that rarity is really going to pay out some dividends, I think, on these price rises. So that's enough conversation there. But, you know, that's where I'm thinking for a good investment right now. If you're like, Nate, I don't want to mess with Premier League TOTS cards because, you know, I'm not that interested in the Prem TOTS or whatever it may be. Bundesliga... Um, out of pack special cards is another place on the market where you can start to look for an investment, kind of like two investment opportunities. I also feel like we've had the market dropping now for like three to four days nonstop. It's going to end at some point. I think that end point might be today slash tomorrow. And I really think that the Bundesliga out of pack special cards are an undervalued place on this market right now. 26K for a Hero, it's going to link to all of the Bundesliga Tots cards when they get released. Very valuable for the cup. I've been looking at this Ricken card, trying to get him for like 25k. I think that's a really good price. I've started to pick up a few of these most recent special cards that are in the Bundesliga that I feel like are pretty undervalued. Just trying to be careful and stay away from guys that are um, potentially going to get Team of the Season cards themselves. But a guy like this, Timo Werner, 80K as one of the most pacey and uh, best cheap uh, Bundesliga strikers. 80K for him is not bad. Mats Hummels is down a lot from yesterday. I mean, like, I can't believe this guy. He's like under 30K or he was like 29,000 coins and I just bought him a little bit ago. 30K for this card after he's been like 37 to 38 all week was really, really crazy to me. So I think that some of these cards, although it, be, it may be a little bit riskier because your rise may not take place until early to late next week with Bundesliga Tot still upcoming, that's a part of the market that I would still look at. Scroll through some out-of-pack special cards, whether it be some foot birthdays, some foot fantasy cards. That's where I would start to look at some potential Bundesliga buys. Just remember what cards have the best links and which cards are used the most because those are going to be the cards that do rise up the best um, as we go into Bundesliga team this season. That's why I'm kind of looking at guys like Hummels um, and the team over Werner because those are some of the most recent ones. Now, be careful with a guy like a Musiala again because Musiala was in team of the season voting. He maybe does not go up as much because of that. But a guy like Adiemi who was not in the voting, you know, he was, you know, 160K. He's still right, right around there. You take a look at his graph. 155, 180, 155. So you want to get this guy in the 150s for sure if you're going to make a buy there for a Bundesliga investment. So I'm not going to spend a bunch of time looking into that, but I think there's a potential investment there on that side of the market as well. Hop on bids, hop on snipes, and you'll get some good prices and uh, hopefully see some profits come your way later on this week. I'm going to try to pick up one more of those Hummels there for 27 on bid if I can. Now, the market in general, a lot of fluctuations yesterday. Now, one of the actually ways that I lost coins yesterday was I did not sell everything heading into the content drop. I didn't even listen to my own advice, man. I knew that the market was going to go down yesterday, and I, I tried holding out on some of these cards, and I even tried buying a few more. I had a couple Martinelli's in the low 300s. He was all the way up to like 360K. I did not sell them, and now he's back down under 290. I did take a little bit of a loss with a hit on him, and the reason Martinelli and a lot of your left mids are down so much in this game is because of that Matoma. Now, I'm glad that I so sold the Joe Coles that I bought last night. I remember uh, Joe Cole, we looked at on the YouTube video, was about, 
like 59, 60,000 coins. He went all the way up to 70K. He's like 50K right now. And the reason why he is so cheap is because the Matoma. Everybody's getting the Matoma. Everybody is getting the Paulinho right now inside of this uh, Tots upgrade SBC, uh, the Craft to Glory. And that's really hurting midfielder and left-sided players on this game. So if you're wondering like why some of those cards are going down, that definitely is it. Uh, those had a crazy amount of impact on Premier League special cards yesterday and their prices. So just kind of be careful there. Premier League special cards out of packs are still in demand. They're really, really good trades and they have really good fluctuations. But in those specific positions, those prices are down. I saw Isak again is really low. Um, you know, still with the ASM, with the Bruno Guimaraes, I still think this guy's a really good flip, but he's back down to like 310K. It's crazy. Like the market definitely dropped off yesterday because of the upgrade packs and because of how much hype there are with those. Now, today on Tuesday as well, the hype returns with EFL team of the season with these cards being available today in the guaranteed EFL TOTS upgrade pack. Last week with the guaranteed um, Air Divisie and the guaranteed Community pack, they were both very cheap and EA used the exact same rating that they did back in FIFA 22 for that SBC. Now, if we look back to last year, the EFL TOTS upgrade pack was dirt cheap. And guess what? If you look at the requirements once again last year, it was an 84 rated squad. So what are we thinking for today? Probably an 84 rated squad because EA have been just copy and pasting what they did last year. Could be an 85 again. I know we said this last week, but it could be an 85. Could be a plus one rating because, man, this team is absolutely juiced. But there are a lot of low tier cards in here. Um, you know, the Hoskins, the Pierre Gianni. I mean, a lot of cards here that are under like 25,000 coins, like a handful. Then they've got, the, of course, the meta guys at the top here. So I would imagine it's going to be... 84 rated again and uh, if you know you want to go out and stock some fodder for that fodder really has not moved guys the low tier is what's moving the best and even that oh my goodness 85s are 5.5k fodder just is going nowhere on this game right now because the supply is still immense from all the lightning round packs and all of that and if we're being honest the SBCs have not been that fantastic, right? I remember back last year, the team of the season, we had so many great player SBCs during Prem Tots, Phil Foden, Harry Kane Tots. We had the flashback, um, Deli Ali. I think there was even a couple of other player SBCs. I know we've had Havertz. I know we've had Alan St. Maxman. The SBCs have not been bad. I'm not sitting here complaining. I'm just saying it seems like the SBC content has just been decent. I mean, the hero player pick on the weekend was a bummer. I was hoping that we were to get more player SBCs during the week and it just hasn't quite happened yet. Now, there's still potential for us to get one of those today. Of course, we still have the flashback Laporte and we have the Ali Sun. I think we have to get one of those two today. I feel like that will be our content today on Tuesday. One of those player SBCs and the EFL Tots guaranteed. So that could maybe pick some things up with fodder, but really I, a fodder investment still, I would only look at like the 83s, the 84s, and maybe the 85s. I know 85s did kind of fluctuate a little bit yesterday with the... Um, 85 rated squad requirement inside of the 8111 Premier League pack. They had a bit of a bounce. So these guys being at five and a half K, this could be a quick flip investment for today where you buy these at like five and a half and hope they go back up to six and a half. But I don't think they would go too much higher than that. So that's kind of the only thing you could maybe do today with fodder if you wanted to do something along those lines. But speaking of the EFL TOTS cards, man, these guys have a lot of hype and they're also really fun to trade with. And I think today with the EFL guaranteed, uh, they should be having some really good fluctuations as well. That'll be an SBC that a lot of people will want to do, myself included. So, you know, keep an eye on these card prices. They should be pretty good to trade with still today. Joao Pedro had like a crazy rarity spike yesterday. Um, I heard he was getting hyped up because he was super duper good. And then uh, his price came crashing back down. He right now is about 470k. But he was like one mil for one point yesterday. Brownhill, um, well, I made some good coins on Brownhill yesterday on the video. We saw him at 240 to 250. He went all the way back up to like 380k. I sold too early though, or sorry, too late. Um, and I sold a lot of them for like 330, 340k. Now he's back down to 274. So really good flips on those EFL TOTS cards yesterday. But with that guarantee today, that's something to kind of watch out for there. And the last thing I want to talk about today is UCL Live action once again uh we've got games on tap today for the ucl and that means specifically 
we've got Manchester City and Real Madrid, but also kind of gets us thinking ahead into the game that'll be on Wednesday as well. David Alaba, 548K is really, really low for him. So keep an eye on that card. Of course, the upgrade does not take place after today's fixture. It's going to be who uh, kind of advances through on aggregate in the end. Calvin Phillips, I believe he's somewhere around the range of like 220. Oh, is he actually up? Calvin Phillips was 211K, but now he's like 230. So definitely keep an eye on the game today. Whoever scores first, whoever kind of ends the game with the lead, you'll probably see their live cards fluctuating in price a little bit. But I mean, all, we all know like these guys are down bad from where they were. David Alaba was like 700K. Now he's 550. So if Madrid come out hot today, this could go up maybe, you know, um, maybe 100K. It could. But the hype right now is not with La Liga. So watch that Calvin Phillips, but watch this David Alaba. And there should be some good fluctuations there on this game today but for real right now what the grind is is upgrade packs on repeat and i'll tell you guys this you know you see here a 1k insta sell bin on all these rare gold cards i'm getting some bids in the late night hours around 850 to 900 so i'm going in here i'm bidding 850 on a lot of these and i'm not winning everything but i'm winning enough to where uh it's it's worth it now during the daytime it's definitely going to be pretty tough to do this and I know that you might be watching this video and you're like, Nate, there's no way I can get these on bid at 850. Um, these cards are, I mean, I'm not even winning 850 now. You see my coins coming back in the top left. Maybe I have to pay 900, but I'm going to try to take advantage of this late night, I guess, easier uh, bidding prices and stuff like that. Because honestly, these rares are just going to keep going up as people are trying to pack blues. Uh, people are crafting and trying to get stuff um, open and a lot of people are opening these upgrade packs that so they can get fodder at the same time The Premier League upgrade packs are always the best because they give you the most fodder out of any other league There's the most walkouts and most um, you know higher rated gold So I have no problem paying 900 950 because I know by the end of the week I'm going to be paying wow, that's an 83 as well. That's crazy. I'm gonna be paying like 1.2k uh, for these gold cards. So for right now, I'm going to try to stock as many gold rares as I can in the club because I know that by the end of the week, they're going to be more expensive when I'm doing a lot of upgrade packs. But that's why we have coins. And that's why we've been trading for this uh, all year, trying to get as many coins as possible so that we could do a lot of upgrade packs. So I'm going to build some more of those and I'll see you guys in the stream today to hopefully get this tots counter up to like 15, 16, 17 and to get some more blues. But if you enjoyed today's video, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan for the count. See you guys in the stream today. Peace.